Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Masood Sadiq. I'm Professor of Pediatric Cardiology at Children's Hospital and Punjab Institute of Cardiology, Lahore, Pakistan. Uh, so I've come a long way. Uh, the topic of my talk was interventions in adult congenital heart disease and the topic was uh, role of stents uh, in management of coarctation of aorta with special reference to covered stents. Uh, in fact, uh, stents have been put in uh, in coarctations uh, for almost two decades now. But more uh, recently, uh, people are putting in covered stents uh, more and more or increasingly to treat uh, different lesions, uh, more so the complex coarctations, long segment coarctations, or transverse arch coarctations, or where there's an associated duct. Uh, we in Pakistan actually, uh, the health system is not that advanced, so a lot of patients with coarctation are missed when they are young. Uh, so they come into medical attention for hypertension when they are in their late teens or 20s or sometimes 30s, 40s, as late as 56. So we have one of the largest series of uh, putting in covered stents in patients with uh, coarctation of aorta who are adolescents and adults. So I s presented my data of uh, you know, 56 patients uh, who received 59 covered stents uh, in 57 procedures over a period of 10 years. The, uh, another important uh, aspect of that data is that we have a 10 years follow-up. We did our follow-up with uh, uh, sorry, transthoracic echocardiogram and computed tomography, and all patients uh, where the uh, CT was done in all patients after six months of procedure, but we repeated another procedure, uh, another CT scan, if it had not been done in the last two years. And the long-term follow-up clearly shows that the stents were patent, there were no late fractures, uh, no late dissections, and uh, two-thirds of the patients uh, uh, you could stop or decrease the antihypertensive treatment significantly.